Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to talk about difference between sterilization and disinfection. So let's start. See the first point of difference definition. If we talk about sterilization, then you should know sterilization is a process of complete killing or removal of all living microorganisms. Okay. On the other hand, disinfection is a process of reducing the number of microorganisms means disinfection never results in complete killing or removal of living microorganisms. It only reduces the number of microorganisms to a minimum level that is not harmful, right? So in this way, we can say in simple words that both sterilization and disinfection are a kind of decontamination processes which are used in microbiology laboratory. Let's try to understand the difference between sterilization and disinfection now with the help of a pictorial presentation. So suppose here we have taken a used or we can say contaminated surgical equipment, right? And when we perform microscopic examination of this surgical equipment, what we observe, we observe this type of bacterial load associated with this contaminated surgical equipment, of course, before applying any kind of decontamination process to it. And once we decontaminate this equipment using sterilization, then what kind of results we expect? Of course, like this. After sterilization, all type of bacterial load associated with this contaminated equipment will now be completely killed or removed, right? And if same type of surgical equipment, which is contaminated one, and having this type of initial bacterial load associated with it, we decontaminate it by using disinfection, then of course, what type of results we can expect here? Like this. Here, what we can observe that there is a significant reduction in the number of bacteria or we can say bacterial load is reduced to such an extent when we compare it with that of its initial load to a minimum level now, which is not harmful, right? I hope you are better clear with the help of these pictures now. So let's move towards the second point now, mode of action. If we talk about mode of action, then you should know sterilization kills both vegetative cells and spores. On the other hand, disinfection kills only vegetative cells. In other words, we can say that sterilization is a kind of sporicidal process, means it can result in killing of spores also. On the other hand, disinfection is a kind of non-sporicidal process, right? Let's un understand the concept of vegetative cells and spores with the help of this picture now. This picture is showing us the microscopic view of vegetative cells and spores, right? And spore forming bacterial cells. So these rod shaped form of uh, microorganisms or I can say here, these are of bacteria, they are called as vegetative cells. And here, what you can observe in some cells, there is a oval body, what we call as spore, right? So this is also called as endospore because these spores are formed by bacteria inside the cell and cell here act as sporangium. And some spores are also present here in release form after getting released from the sporangium. Now I am going to show you this picture here just to tell you when we are talking about sterilization, Sterilization kills both vegetative cells and spores means whether the bacteria is present in this form, vegetative cell form or whether it is present in spore form as shown here in this way, then of course these all type of micro microbial forms will be completely removed or killed after sterilization. On the other hand, if for the same type level of contamination, same type of contamination, we are using this infection, then what will be the result? These vegetative cells form will be killed, but endospores or we can say spore form is not actually removed. We cannot completely get rid of the spores of microorganisms or we can say especially spores of bacteria here because they are extremely resistant and it is very difficult to eradicate them using disinfection. That's why we say disinfection is non-sporicidal because spores remain and sterilization is sporicidal because it can work for both vegetative cells and spores. If you would like to further enrich your knowledge about spore forming bacteria and endospore formation, then you can also check 
one of the previously uploaded video on endo sports by me on the same channel that will really be very fruitful to all of you let's move towards the third point of difference now type of methods so if we talk about sterilization then you should know physical and chemical methods are used to carry out sterilization in the laboratory and if we talk about this infection then for this infection we use chemical methods okay let's see now examples of physical and chemical methods right what kind of methods we use in sterilization then you should know heat mainly dry heat based and moist heat based sterilization is a very popular and very commonly and preferably used in microbiology laboratory to decontaminate different type of materials okay now radiation is the another means of sterilization filtration and rarely chemicals are also used to sterilize right let's uh, see some of the pictures related to sterilization methods so here i am going to show you the picture of hot air oven hot air oven is used to carry out dry heat sterilization this picture is of autoclave autoclave is used to carry out moist heat based sterilization and just before this video i also uploaded a video on the important point of differences between hot air oven and autoclave based sterilization or i can say dry heat sterilization and moist heat uh, sterilization differences that you can also check out it will further enrich your knowledge about these means of sterilization thirdly radiations are also used right gamma radiations are very common to carry out sterilization filtration some of the heat sensitive materials which cannot be sterilized using dry heat and moist heat they are sterilized by using microfiltration technique where we use a syringe and of course a microfilter right to carry out the sterilization so already i told you sterilization is complete killing and removal if we talk about dry heat and moist heat based method radiation based method chemicals based method then always keep in mind these methods actually work on sterilization by complete killing of microorganisms but if we talk about filtration filtration actually works on the principle of removal of all type of microorganisms from the material nil what we want to sterilize right so that's why we say sterilization is complete killing and complete removal right now we are coming towards disinfection if we talk about disinfection then here ethanol isopropanol phenol chlorine iodine hydrogen peroxide etc these are some of the commonly used chemical agents which are used to carry out disinfection right now let's come towards the fifth point of difference and type of chemical agents if we talk about type of chemical agents this is just a term based difference you should know the chemical agents used to carry out sterilization are called as sterilants and chemical agents used to carry out disinfection are called as disinfectants now one more thing i would like to tell you there are some chemicals which are used as both sterilants as well as disinfectants right now you may be thinking how it is possible of course it is possible depending on the exposure time and the concentration we are using like one such chemical is glutaraldehyde glutaraldehyde if we are going to use it at lower concentration right and for lesser time period of uh, exposure to different type of materials then glutaraldehyde act as an important disinfectant but if we are going to increase the exposure time of the material to this particular chemical the and we are going to lengthen the time also of this treatment then the same chemical that is glutaraldehyde will act as sterilant right so another chemical if i talk about sterilizing gases like ethylene oxide it is one of the very well known chemical sterilant right so uh, i hope this point is clear to you now let's come towards the six point application if we talk about application then you should know sterilization is used mainly for decontamination in food medicine and research right and here these pictures are going to show you like this picture is of microbiological medium microbiological is medium is used in food medicine agriculture and environment research everywhere to study the microbial load associated with a particular object right so microbiological medium is sterilized by which means of course by moist heat sterilization using autoclave right and if i talk about surgical equipment these are preferably sterilized by using dry heat based sterilization and some of the surgical equipments which are made up of such type of metal that cannot corrode at moist heat 
even they can be sterilized by using autoclave also right so these are only uh, i can say one or two examples but of course list is long of all the those kind of materials when it is used uh, this process is used to decontaminate in food medicine and research right now we are coming towards disinfection if i come if i talk about disinfection then you should know disinfection used in daily life like to decontaminate surfaces and air right so i hope uh, these points will really be helpful to you in understanding and making your concept clear thank you so much keep watching